Hello and welcome back to our channel Forensic Science Public Desk India and now I am with you a topic on lightning and electrocution. So this is the lecture 15 Forensic Medicine UGC at Forensic Science. Let's proceed into the topic. So first electrocution deaths. Electrical injuries are relatively common and complex potentially devastating in the form and giving the trauma both in industrially and domestical circumstances we can see this particular injuries. So the electricity is being passed through the body and it is reaching its resistance through the earth. So that is what the process which is happening. So uh, here the injuries which are going to occur are depended upon various factors like how much electricity is entering inside the body and whether it is lethal or not. So in which pathway it is entering, how long it is entering in our body and it is uh, using this passage and how intense the electricity is passing through. So you can see here there are many cases in which we can see high voltage, low voltage and lightning is a different case. So contact with direct electricity at our home is different with the lightning. Again the uh, at home or at industrial places or domestic places we can see two types of currents again. So that can be of alternative current and direct current. So most fatal will be of alternative current. So alternative current means in a wire or in a pathway of a current the current will be flowing in the two different ways. One is the flow and other is the two. In two different uh, pathways it is flowing that's why we call it as alternative current and when we when the current current is flowing in only one way in one direction then it will be called as direct current that is 70 to 8 milliamperes is the most fatal one. So alternative current fatal fatality is when 200 to 250 milliamperes. So the current measurement how intense it was is calculated in the units of amperes and fatality and fa fatal uh, current flow units are given here 250 is fatal of al alternative current and a 70 to 80 milliamperes for direct current. And what happens when the current is passing through this? So you can see the image one here firm contact. So when you are getting in contact with some kind of metal which is uh, having conductance towards the electricity example 240 volts of current is been passed to a metal and uh, the person is touching that pale zone and collapsed blister raised edge and pale areola is seen. So that is what the injury will look like in general. So it will be raised edges are uh, also raised and uh, it is looking like a blister has been collapsed. So like that it will look like when the current is of high voltage and when the current is passing through a metal just to your skin or you are just near to that in few millimeters distance then also the current may attack it may give the particular uh, damage like a pear areola that is fused nodule of the keratin can be seen. So a, a point a point a jammed point kind of thing can be seen on our skin. So this is these are the regional injuries these are the local injuries we can observe when we are getting directly into the contact with something which is holding the electricity and pathways of the current in the electrocution how it will be entering. So the person is holding a wire it will be entering from the left hand to the right hand or it will be making a pathway through our circulatory system and definitely it will be passing through the heart and uh, it will be exiting through the legs. So any of the two legs it will be exiting. So most fatal condition will be when the person is uh, holding the electricity with his right hand. Okay. So and it will be exiting through the earth. So exit injuries can be seen on the soles of the foot or if person is hand uh, touching any other metal surface then also uh, on the hands we can see the exit injuries. Entry injuries, exit injuries can be observed. So what will happen internally, internal organs? So inside the body while it is passing through what will happen? Cardiac arrhythmia will be occurring, it is irregular heartbeat and uh, ventricular fibrillation will occur. This is the ventricular region that means ventricles which are there in the heart, they are pumping the blood outside the heart to the lungs as well as to the body. So in this particular process there is a movement to the heart which is created by the pace nodules. So this pace nodules will be dislocated because of high voltage 
and uh, the actual electricity which the heart will generate and liberate for the movement of the heart and pumping purpose that will be altered due to this alteration the cardiac arrhythmia will occur and also ventricular fibrillation will occur which will be giving the inadequate blood supply to various parts of the body. This is the first step and second step can also be seen where respiratory paralysis from spasm of intercoastal muscles that means the chest muscles our chest muscles will be undergoing a spasm and our diaphragm will be also going into the spasm which will be causing the hypoxia that means it will be unable to supply certain amount of oxygen to the our chest region as well as other parts of our body which will be causing the hypoxia condition where inadequate oxygen is supplied. Then brain stem cardiac respiratory paralysis can also be seen. So basically when the injury is occurring through the head to the neck and we can see the brain stem, in stem injuries in general. Then we have seen both the types that is local effects on the finger on the on the uh, legs or where, wherever our skin wherever our body part is getting into contact with electricity what kind of injuries are going to occur we are just understanding by seeing the first image one it you can see the collapsed blister kind of damage and also you can see nodule formation or a play, play, pale yellow areola is formed or fused nodule is formed of keratin so on skin we are having keratinous protein this particular protein will be coming all together at one part and it will be forming a point kind of thing which is thick which is a little thick than normal skin so these are the injuries which we can be observing then next we can also see other types of injuries by understanding other images when there is a high electric voltage then uh, you can see here it is given 230 voltage then you can see the blister burn and you can also see paralysis of medullary centers then paralysis of heart intercostal muscles diaphragm and loose contact then we can see spark burns that is a pointed burn so here are given jaw burn so due to electricity if burn is burn is occurring onto the skin as like the first two images real images jaw burn electrical burn electrical mark can be identified so well circumscribed mark with puckering of skin around but no red line so remember this point no red line is there that is you have observed around the burns or mark it is the base point of entry suggestive point for entry of the electricity from that particular point so generally where the electricity will enter uh, will be handling the things where the electricity is passing through that only we will be getting the uh, accidental electricity being passed to our body so rarely it is back part or head or legs and wherever the part is the electricity once it has entered the body it will be exiting through the sole foods okay so you can see the foot here there is a exit injury of uh, this particular electricity and this is a, a flash burn flash burn means when there is a high voltage of power that means it is more than 11000 volts as like uh, the electric poles or something like that if the person is uh, getting into contact with such particular high voltage then uh, he can be directly going into the flash fire that means it will be causing thermal injuries direct hyper thermal injuries can be observed then when the high voltage electricity is observed and the person is was able to sustain such kind of injuries where we can see the crocodile skin lesions this is one of the point to be noted Cro crocodile skin lesions are formed like crocodile skin i have already said you when the current is passing through our body it will be uh, gathering all keratin protein over the skin layers and it will be forming a design kind of thing okay so the, it will be forming a crocodile skin generally if you can search in google images uh, will be available it is not enough space here to put it then though we can see the image of crocodile injuries the first image c image labeled with c the leg involves large area and called crocodile skin lesion that is forming that is nothing but the keratin protein is being jammed into a design pattern due to the electricity being passed so local effects you can see burns blisters contusions lacerations metallization of electrical marks is most important to be understood 
what happens when the electricity is entering inside the body it will be undergoing certain kind of uh, electrolysis reaction all the metals which are present either it can be the calcium sodium or uh, potassium whatever the salts we are having inside our body in our uh, system these salts will be also getting electrolyzed and they will be coming upon the skin so our skin will be becoming metallized so skin will be observed with a minute microscopical range electron microscopical range of metal nodules will be observed so that is one of the observation micro pathological skin changes can be also seen and flash or uh, spark burns can also be seen so this is what the local effects constitutional effects we can also observe like momentary shock the person will be stunned for certain time of period where the electricity has passed so he will be shocked and uh, stunned and he will be in a suspended animation and you can also observe immediate death when current flow is highly lethal so high voltages are passed obviously the death will be there then cause of death will be generally because of uh, ventricular fibrillates that is irregular heart beat and irregular inadequate supply of the blood to various parts of the body and cardiac arrest inhibition of the respiration due to the paralysis in the chest region and medical legal aspects if you see we can see suicide homicide suicides were seen more commonly in foreign countries as well as in uh, india it is not so common in uh, homicides also we can observe where uh, this particular incidences will be occurring inside the bathrooms uh, that is what the main cases are registered and accidental shock is seen one who are working in the field of electricity and uh, as a lineman etc and the judicial execution can be seen and it is practiced in us so this is the punishment which was uh, given the first person to be electrocuted was uh, william kimler in new york auburn's prison in uh, august 6th 1890 so the, he is the person he was been electrocuted uh, by uh, designing a chair where they have uh, put the all electricity wires to it and they have burnt so this is the case then we can also learn one more thing that is uh, uh, micro pathological skin changes is one of the pathological condition another pathological condition is there heart will be having myocytes so this myocytes they are having certain type of uh, structure so this structure will be disrupted this is anti mortem change whether the particular person is been electrocuted or not if you want to identify you have to do the myocytes examination pathologically what you will observe in that is the myocyte nuclei whatever it is there it will be ovoid in shape that is round in shape but due to the electricity being passed through the heart muscles that is myocytes the nuclei will be becoming square in shape okay the square shaped nuclei in myocytes is anti mortem change which will be occurring inside the person who is dead because of electrocution that is 100% report opinion which can be given uh, saying that the electricity was passed through the person so what are the complications if your body is conductive in nature that means you are just dry and you are as usual and electricity is passing through your body then it will be causing the damages injuries and everything will be visible okay so the person is wet and his clothings are wet and in that particular conditions there are very minimal chances of seeing certain kind of injuries it is not easily possible to observe the injuries which will be giving wrong opinion that whether it was uh, uh, electrocution or not so such kind of confusion may occur lightning so lightning is the last part of the electrocution so here what happens is like uh, the high voltage of electricity will be passing through the body and this is a natural phenomenon it is not due to the electricity which is made by the human so lightning differs only in degrees from ordinary electric currents a lightning bolt is produced when the charged under surface of a thunder cloud discharges its electrical charge to the ground so what happens there are the clouds which are formed rainy clouds will be there this clouds will be conducting certain kind of electricity so electricity which is conducted by them will be passed from one by one so this particular charge will be of mainly of the negative charge that means the electricity only 5% of this particular charges will be 
positive which will be neutralizing this particular lightning phenomenon inside at, at the stage of sky only it will be not reaching till the ground when there are positive charges it will be neutralized in the sky if there are no positive charges this particular thunder this particular lightning will be reaching to the earth to neutralize itself okay so a flash of lightning from the thunder cloud to the earth can pass direct current of enormous potential of 1000 million volts or more than that so it will be depending how on how much current it is been produced so we can understand this by understanding various kinds of uh, strikes so four electrical mechanisms of lightning injury have been described that is direct strike that means the thunder or the particular uh, lightning is directly striking the person and uh, he will be completely burnt and in this particular cases flash fire can also be observed and next is contact that means uh, if i am near to a particular object like a pillar or any iron rod or any vehicle so i am just touching it and actually the lightning is occurring on to the vehicle or iron rod and through that it is passing to me then it will be called as contact lightning and side flash means you are just nearby an object if it is receiving any kind of lightning then it will be called as side flash that means you are just near to that it has burnt the tree and that, that particular lightning is passing through that and coming to you also attacking you also then it is called as side flash the electricity passing through us and going inside the earth definitely it will be causing it will be causing the death and it is highly lethal it is the ground current stream current can also be seen which will be given in the form of small current and it is very less in uh, concentration so like that we can see lightning injuries you can see the injuries here first one is the lightning anyway b it is lightning injuries forming the lesions burn sustained over the trunk at the points of lightning entry from the entry point to the exit point you can see certain kind of injuries and lesions these are the torn clothes which are uh, torn tearing of the clothes are possible in the case of lightning only and uh, fern like patterns are classic called as uh, arborescent marks lechenberg marks filigree burns so you have to remember filigree burns are caused by lightning jol burns are caused by electricity that is the domestic or industrial okay then lightning injury left over the ear left ear so you can observe that image so this particular uh, injuries can be observed in the case of lightning so this was the topic on electrocution injuries and lightning injuries i hope you have understood the concepts and uh, the important points related to this topic thank you for watching this video